Hi, this is a video for the titration lab in which we calibrate the pH tester. I've got my pH tester here and the lab kits come with a little baggie. And if you look inside that baggie, there should be uh, two containers and I'll pull mine out. Uh, one of which says pH 4, the other which says pH 7. And so since this is a little different, these pHs, than the pHs in the procedure, or potentially it is as, we, uh, as I say this, I'm going to do it right here. And I've got my water. And I'm reading along in the procedure. It talks about dissolving packets, but we don't have to dissolve packets because we have actual pH um, already made. And let's see, I'm going to put this a little bit of this water. So this is my water that I'm going to be uh, rinsing things with. And this is going to be a sort of, that's my big water. I'm going to rinse things now in this. All right, so I've got my pH Pro. Um, and the instructions uh, are always a little different, but I'm going to turn it on. And it's uh, reading a pH of 0, 0.00 right now. I'm just going to put in some water, give it a little stir, and see what it says. So it is reading pH. It's actually saying the pH of this water is around 10. Um, and now, um, so that we don't have to dissolve the packets, instead of using 6.86 pH, we're going to use pH 7. And that's OK. That's going to be close enough for us. And instead of using 4.01, we're going to use exactly 4. So I'm getting my 4 on the left, my 7 on the right. And uh, turned on my pH tester, uh, removed the cap, rinsed the pH electrode with distilled water, gently shake off any excess water, immerse the pH electrode into the 6.86. Remember, we've got 7 here, so I'm going to use 7. Stir for 5 to 10 seconds. Stop stirring and wait for the reading to stabilize. So. Mine's actually, well, five to 10 seconds. That's in here. Mine's stabilizing at around 7.5. I'm gonna press the cow button on mine for two seconds and it should flash. This is a 1002. It's flashing, it's flashing 6.86. I know it's in seven but it says close enough, and then it says end, just like in the procedure. Um, rinse the pH electrode with distilled water. I'm gonna cap my pH seven buffer there, and I'm gonna get my pH four buffer, and I'm gonna uncap it. Repeat the steps with the pH four buffer. So now I'm gonna place it in the pH four buffer. I'm going to, for five to 10 seconds, and it's a little high, to be honest. It says around 4.7. It's actually changing a little bit, it's going down. Well, since it's still going down, I'll give it a stir for a couple more seconds. Still going down, a few more seconds. So now it's actually down to the threes. It seems to have stabilized around 3.8. So now I'm gonna hit the cow button again. It says 4.01 blinking. Then it says end. That means I'm done. Now when it comes back on, it comes back on at 3.95, which for us is close enough. So now I'm going to rinse it again. Shake off any excess water. Cap it. 
then turn it off until I need it. Recap my buffer. And we are done with the buffer, so I'm going to put them back into my plastic baggie to be used uh, at future times if we need them. And that is calibration of the pH tester.